Okay. Hello, guys. Hello to everybody. We have how many we have for today? We have 11 with me in this case. Oh, that's. We have just a few for today class. I don't know what, what is going on with the with the other one. Uh, Claudia, teacher. Okay. Claudia said he's on her way home. Let's see who there is having some issues. Claudia is the only one who is writing to me. Well, but we are going to wait for the... Uh, we can wait for the other because we have like an, a schedule that we have to to complete or to do or to finish. This is uh, Elena Rosibel. Uh, good evening. I'm going to get okay, Carlos. Carlos. Okay, thank you. And Dalia Margarita. I don't know what is going on with your with your camera. Just Claudia and Carlos. They they are they are telling me that they have they are going their way home what about elena marisol crisia i don't know what's going on with your camera crisia morena guys please uh, the one who oh it's okay Okay. Well, guys, we're going to start with the one that, that we are for today. Let's see. Oh, cutting between in 20 minutes. Okay. There's no problem. Now we're going to share this. She's going to be at home in 20 minutes. We're going to share the screen and see what we have for today. Let me see, guys. Let's see over here. Okay, let's see what we have for today. Oh, we need to move this over here because, and we're going to move this right here. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, Rosibel, I, I don't know what's going on with your camera. Well, in this case, guys, we are we're going to talk about best jobs. In this case, it is supposed that we have a like an audio or a listening, but we don't have it in this case. But we're going to talk about a little bit about the best jobs. In this case, we have flight attendant, we have teacher, we have a songwriter, we have a lawyer, we have a bookkeeper, we have a doctor, we have a marine biologist, we have a mother, we have an architect. And guys, for the three, six, nine, we are going to order no, in this case, we're going to select the the just five, the one that we consider that are like uh, the best jobs in this case. Which one do you might think that can be the best jobs? Which one do you think might be the best jobs from the one that we have here? Just only we have nine, but we are going to select five. Five. One, two, three, four, and five. Who wants to help me in this case? Saul Enrique, how are you, Saul? Five, teacher. Okay, Sa Saul. Saul, which one do you think might be one job that we are going to select from the night that we have right here? We're going to select just five. But here we have nine. Which one? Uh, do you lawyer. A lawyer. Do you consider that might be a good job or the best job? Okay, that is it, the, the. Okay, that is the one that you choose. A lawyer. 
Okay, what about Silvia, Esther? Which one do you consider or which one do you might take into account? <clears throat> Answer. Um, <clears throat> for me, marine biology. Marine biologist, okay. <laughs> that That is a very hard area because the one who are biologists, it is a very hard work because I have heard uh, just a few things about the, the people who study biology. It is very, very white. It is like an area that is maybe, or it's an, a very wide area because it it refers everything to Sorry, guys, my, my dog was barking. Okay, uh, which which another job we can select? Uh, Gabriela, which another job do you... Good evening, teacher. Uh, hola. Uh, Good, which evening. You... Good evening. <laughs> which one do you consider that might be one of the best jobs? Um, doctor. Okay, the doctor. Gabriela, the doctor. you ne, you ne, you did you consider once when we were you were younger, being like a fly attendant? You know what is what it is a fly attendant, right? Mm. The one who works on the plane during the whole fly. And, and they fly from one point to the another one. Fly attendant. Mm -hmm. and... They they also wear they also wear like a a very uh, extravagant outfit, mm -hmm. like. Like in uh, like in different airlines, uh, you can see uh, any of them in Taka uh, or Delta Airlines in any airlines. How you can translate a flight attendant into Spanish, Gabriela? What do you think might be? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Translating to Spanish, the flight attendant, in this case, is, is Aeromosa or Aeromoso. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's what oh, it yeah. is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got it. That is the flight attendant. That's why they right. use, they their outfit always looks great. If you maybe have seen some of them at the airport, you always gonna see them wearing like a, a specific uh, outfit. From some airlines, they only can wear red. For the other one, they can only wear blue. And it is in different ways, which they can get work. And let's see, we have three. We are going to select two more. And uh, Crisia, hello, Crisia. Hello, teacher. Hello, Crisia. Which another job do you consider that might be one of the best jobs? Hmm? Mm -hmm. oh, we... oh, oh, my God. That. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if you were paying attention, we have nine. From the nine that we have there, we're going to select five, and we only have three. We're going to select the number four. But you said uh, doctor, uh, fly Doc attendant? Uh, no. Doctor, uh, doctor, fly attendant was the one that I mentioned. But your classmate said uh, marine biologist, doctor, lawyer, and we need the fourth one. For me, if I have to choose one, it's flight attendant. Oh, it's flight attendant. Yeah. Did you consider it once in maybe in your life being a flight attendant? 
Yes, yes. One time I I, I seen that. Yes. But but you uh, you never try to be a flight attendant or you or you try once. No, no, really no. Because I I I prefer I prefer um uh, be a report. Mm, uh, like a. I work with communication. Like oh yeah, be, be, being a reporter. Yeah, that 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 might be also something that some other people might call the attention, right? And the flight attendant, it is uh like uh sometimes might be like a uh, a stressful job because you spend maybe a That's lot of really. yeah, and it is well paid no, here. Spend people in... it's okay. It's yeah, okay. you go around the world also. It is according where where you used to travel. That might be depend. Okay, thank you, Chrisia. Thank you. Who else we have? Let me see. Da -da -da -da. Eh, Olga. Olga dice, hello. Hello. Ya me lo imaginaba que me iba a preguntar. Hey, you didn't see that coming, right? <laughs> <laughs> Olga, hey. that's uh, you didn't that see coming. That's me. No lo yo venir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it means. You didn't see that coming. Okay, Olga, you're going just only to choose one. Which one you're going to choose, Olga? Teacher. Teacher? Okay. Olga. My, is... my working. You work as a teacher? Yes. <laughs> but you are the, a math teacher. You are uh, you are an English teacher, right? Ah, I got it. Oh. I got it. <laughs> Yo creo que me va a costar mucho. <laughs> no, 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 no. Everything, everything is possible if you do your best in this life. Don't worry about that. Even if you make a lot of mistakes, even that that was something that happened to me. Don't worry about that, Olga. Just keep no trying. Quiero... Hola. No me quiero dar por vencer que pasen unos cinco o seis años. No, don't give up. Never surrender. Usted sabe que me cuesta un poco, ¿verdad? Entonces, ay, es que me pongo nerviosa a la hora de, de estar ante oh. todos y hablarlo. Why you feel nervous? No, nobody, nobody tries to hurt you, Olga. Don't worry about that. That's that's why we are a, a whole group because we are here for helping us. Okay. Yes. Okay, Olga. Thank you. Thank you for for helping us. Okay, we have the five best jobs in these cases, guys. Okay? I know that all of you work in different area, in different position. But you have like uh, different careers. In this case, uh, we decide to work or to study something that we really might call our attention. That's why we select our one profession. And in this case, everyone prefer the one that that you have. Okay, let's see what else we have right here, guys. Let's move to the another. Okay. Job profile, guys. What do you what do you understand about the job profile? What does it mean? Job profile. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What are your skill and job preference? Okay. The job profile. Are you good at communicating with people, remembering names, solving problems, making decisions quickly, meeting oh meeting deadlines? Oof, meeting deadlines. Okay. Do you have any special skill? Do you have any experience? This is the most common question. Here and all over the world. That's the first question that someone asks you once you go for an interview. Do you have any experience? And you say, mm, uh, uh, yes. And maybe you, you don't, but you can be a, a liar in, in an interview, especially if someone has your CV. Uh, that that won't be something helpful for you 
in in the interviews the majority of the time you must be serious you must be direct with what you are saying don't don't go around the bushes you must go directly you must say exactly what the another what the interview really wants to hear know what you want to hear from uh, getting out from yourself no 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 you have to imagine what the in interview interviewer wants to hear coming from you to him or her that's what we have to do do you have any special certificate how many of you uh, maybe in, in some of your jobs your boss ask you do you have uh, any certificate do you have uh, another diploma another thing and um, maybe in, in those golden years uh, trying to get a, a new certificate in any area uh, whatever thing that you want it might result like a little bit expensive that might be uh, they can be a uh, maybe in some cases few expensive in another cases more expensive in the case of the diplomas do you speak any foreign language guys do you speak english do you speak foreign language that is one extra point for for your job profile okay let's what else we have here let's see what else do you like traveling do you like commuting do you like working evenings we there are a lot of questions that someone asks in order to complete or create you your job profile okay in the case of, let's going to see who else we have right over here okay oh team marine the not speak great oh hello lordes how are you Hello, teacher. Good. I'm good. Okay. Thank you, Lourdes. Lourdes, you were paying attention about what we were talking about with your classmates. Yes. Uh -huh. We were talking about the job profile. Job profile. Lourdes, what do you understand about the job profile? What comes to your mind when you heard that word? Uh, job profile is... Mm. Don't worry, if you don't know the word in English, you can tell me. El perfil de trabajo. Yeah, perfil that's, de... that's what we have, job profile. El perfil del trabajo. Es, uh -huh, el, el curriculum. The CV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, with... Uh -huh. How how many years do you have working? In, how many? Uh, how many years you do you have in in the company where you are working at? How many years do you have uh, working in in that company? How many years? Uh -huh. How many years do you have working there? Um, I work. I work night. Years. You have been working on, on that on the same company for nine years. Wait. Oui. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nine years. No, the next year are going to be ten. Don't worry about that. <laughs> the next year. Going... So. Don't worry about that. The next year are going to be ten years. Uh, lower the. I think do you have a lot of experience working in in the in that company. Uh, the first time you, you arrive for your interview, the interview is the one that the 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 who, the one who belongs to the human resources uh, is doing doing to you an interview like uh, okay, hello, please sit, sit down. Oh, what is your purpose in this company? Why did you like this job? Por qué estoy lo otro? Por qué aquí allá? That the, those are the most common questions that someone asks you in the in the interview in order to create a, a job profile. In this case, have 
Do you have any experience? Experience are the most common question in order to create like a, a your job profile. The job profile. You're going to say in I think for the younger ones, uh, it is like a kind of hard to get like like some experience. Uh, but for for the oldest one, it is like a uh, easier because they have been in in some companies for for more years. Uh, in your case, uh, lower this. Uh, are you good at making decision quickly? I'm good with. You um... you are. Mm, the, uh, I am good in com communication with people. Ah, you are good at communication with people. Okay, you are mm -hmm. very good on that, Lord. Okay, thank you. When I when I was no, déjeme pensar. Okay, no, no problem. Um, uh -huh. When I work, I I no sé cómo decirlo. You can tell me in Spanish. I can help you. Ah, bueno, yo trabajé en el departamento de relaciones públicas de una empresa. Ah, in you did you work mm -hmm. the human? You were in the in the in the public human? No, you were relations. Public uh, relations. Yeah, it, it might call it like, like in that way, like the in the public relation. No, in this case, in the for the company, it is like a human resources in in. In public, in public, in public communication, I think it is in that way. Human resources and public okay. communication. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Did you work? Mm -hmm. Did you work on, on on that on that area? On the what? Usted trabajó en esa área. Ah, yes, yes. Oh, that that is a very interesting area because you you meet uh, yeah a lot of people right right there. Maybe I don't know if you have interviewed someone else. You I have interviewed anyone else in your case, Lord? Si, si entrevistado a alguien más? Ah, no, no. Oh, in your case, no. Okay. No. In my case. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lord, okay. for helping me. Okay. Okay, and let's see who else. Dalila Cristina Gomez, how are you? Good night, teacher. I'm fine. Good night, Dalila. Okay, you're fine. You're great. Uh, Dalila, uh, do you have any special skills? Do you know what, it, what, what a skill is, right? A skill. How can you translate a skill into Spanish? Habilidad hmm? de teacher. Okay. In this case, do you have any special skills? My ability special is, no sé cómo se dice, extracción sanguínea, teacher. Oh, taking blood pressure. Blood, blood pressure. Yes. Pre pressure, pressure. Mm -hmm. are, are you a nurse? Uh, no, teacher. Laboratorista. Oh, oh yeah. La, la, yeah, you are the one who takes like a... Oh, you, do you really like that, that job, right? Taking blood with, with nails from people. You must be very careful with that. <laughs> I think that the the one who works in that area are very, very peaceful people because you, you must be like uh, very careful in order to take in blood from another person in this case. That is like a, it is it is kind of hard or it's not like a pinching pitching people in getting getting his blood or it is easy for you, Dalita? <laughs> what? It is easy for you taking some example from blood uh, from your patients. 
Yes, uh, children, más que todo a niños. Oh, y menores, la mayor... de tres, menores de tres años, soy bueno para eso. Oh. Yeah, that means that you are like a... You're on the top. You are the 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 a very skillful uh, girl. Yeah, I have heard that that kids from zero to three years are very difficult in order to get the, the examples. I, I and even I have seen that because uh, once I watched, I remember that once of my relative, uh, the nurse was trying, trying, and trying. She tried like a uh, five time in order to get it paints. At the end, she got the paint from her foot. That's 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 what how she can she can find the the paint. That was that was very difficult. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Alila. Okay, Diana, Patricia, hello, Diana. Hi, teacher. Diana, what, what happened with you yesterday? Did, did you get lost or something like that? No, I have problems with the internet. Oh. And also, I don't have internet in my house. I stay in the my neighbor, <laughs> in the house of my neighbor because I yeah. don't have internet. Neighbors are good sharing internet with us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we, we must get along with, with our friends. And yes. also with, with the neighbors. <laughs> yeah, because I don't have internet in my house. Oh, and well, have you tried on your cell phone with 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 datos? I have uh, internet in my cell phone, but that is not enough for the class. Oh, it, it's not enough. I think, yeah, that 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 is that it, that might be like a, a little bit of stressful in order to to work with a very slow or a slow internet. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Diana, you were paying attention about what we were talking about with your classmate, right? Yes. About the job profile. Uh, Anna, I don't know what do you do. Of your, I think that, or I remember that you told me you were studying or you were working. Working. I I am a graphic designer. Oh, you are a graphic designer. Yes. That means that you really like. Uh, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> like, uh, do you? That means that you are good at solving problems. In communicating with people, for example, also, if a customer say me, I need a. Um, what do you say? A certain a design. Uh, as, uh, as, as a certain design of something, you design, uh, you can design one specific image to any kind of thing that they wanted, I think, right? Yes, I created oh. that for social media or for, how do you say, publicidad? Publicity. Advertisement. <laughs> or advertisement or announcements yes. or, yeah. or some... I forget the name, the one that you call it also in, in, on TV, but there's a, a lot of different names that you can call it. The same thing, advertisement, yeah, publicity, buyers, buyers are the bigger ones. Yeah, yeah. we have a, a lot I of do. different ways <laughs> in which you can make publicity. <laughs> I think yeah. you are an expert on that area. <laughs> yes, I create buyers uh, or banners. Banners, banners. In, in five mirrors or ten oh, mirrors. You you design a very big banners. Yes. Oh, you you are good. I I think that the people who works like you, the in this case you do you you have like a a. How how can I call this in in Spanish or in English? You are very open-minded because your client <laughs> just only tells you what he what wants or he wants what... Or what he needs for a for a for the, for example a restaurant. Yeah, you can create a logo from. I have heard that you can create a logo starting from the first letter of the known that they have, right? Yeah, with colors I made the teacher for workers. Oh, um, 
you, you post you, for social media. Oh, you 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 do a lot of things. Yes. That's <laughs> oh, okay. That that's a that's a great job. That's why you are good at communicate with people. You are also good at solving problems, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you, Diana. Let's see what else we have right over here. Sylvia, Esther, how are you, Sylvia? I'm very good. Sylvia, in your case, Sylvia, mm -hmm. do you have? Uh, I'm going to. You can ask to any of these questions. Do you have any special skill? Do you have any experience? Do you have any special certificate or diploma? Well, in this case that we are talking in English, do you have? Do you speak mm -hmm. any foreign language? <laughs> uh, about about me. Yeah, about you. Uh, the first. Uh... Fix any language? This one. Uh, oh. Oh, the first. Uh, no, this, this one is the one that you want to select or? Oh, uh, um, maybe. If I ask, I if I ask have, you. Do you have any experience? Oh, in this case, do you have any experience? Uh, what kind of experience do you have, uh, Sylvia? I have experience in work working as social media manager and oh. also I I can make a design because oh you you I, you you have like I a designer too you you have like a the same job profile like like Diana right yes oh <laughs> I'm listening about her and yeah you work on the same area yes but oh. uh, right now I I I focus on marketing in digi digital marketing because I uh, study uh, marketing. Oh, uh, you are the one who who is in charge of of digital marketing. Yes, I I have a, a title or diploma. I don't know. Uh, uh do you have a, a degree but mm, but how how do you say people degree ah, okay I, you I have, have you have a, on, a, a degree um, in social media or social marketing or in publicity or in or just in media <laughs> <laughs> i i have a, a degree um in i'm sorry on graphic designer graphic oh, design graphic. and uh, still uh, study on marketing but uh, that marketing that marketing is a degree or it is only a diploma or a certificate because the degree is the the the, the title the the, yeah, yeah the, the one that you get from the university and the titles and the diplomas are the the one that doesn't need like uh, a lot of years in order to to get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I I I I love uh, the marketing and mm -hmm. still I learning everything about marketing and I I want speci specialized. Do you want to specialize in in which area? Exactly in, in exactly in this area, and I work a uh, more on social media manager and the another function, uh, how as um, props or uh, events or uh -huh. uh, manage. A budgets and oh, you 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 handle you handle budgets you hand you deal with people, you mm -hmm. schedule I, meetings, you schedule everything. <laughs> exactly, I I make campaigns, I make the emails for oh, campaigns. You are the you are you are in charge of the payments. <laughs> oh. 
that, that maybe the, the, the one who are your your company they don't want to get mad be, with you because you won't pay them <laughs> okay thank you Hilvia. thank you for sharing us with the, with your, your experience okay guys uh, uh, well guys this is was an interesting part like uh, talking about job profile the different kind of job profile that, uh, in this case some of you may have uh, the in which things do you consider that you are good or would you have this another section uh, about the skills, the experience, the certificate or the diploma that you might have? Or in this case, that we are learning a foreign language. In this case, our foreign language is English. And in this case, we also think we like uh, traveling, communing, community. Or... No, this one I don't like it working evenings. <laughs> I don't like it so much, but I have to do it. <laughs> okay, now we are going to move to our next slide and see what we have here. Let's see what we have here, guys. What are the personalities, traits? Oh, if you see, bad temper. What do you think this might mean or might be translated into Spanish, bad temper? Mal temperamento. Yeah, or in Spanish, how how do you? I have heard this 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 word in Spanish. Uh, uh, me <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> Yeah, bad temper. <laughs> yeah, you explode with with almost anything. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have right here guys okay are these adjectives positive or negative what is adjective describe the a person or this or describe their attitudes in this case we're going to write the letter p for positive and the letter n for negative well here we have bad temper and we have the letter n it is a negative adjective what about creative? It is positive. a pos positive, positive adjective. Mm -hmm. Positive adjective. What about critical? Negative. What about here? I for I forgot the laser. What about here? Critical. Mm -hmm. Is it negative or positive adjective? Mm -hmm. Which one, guys? Negative. It is negative. Yeah, we have like a negative. Okay, we have like a negative. What about disorganized? Negative. 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 What about efficient? Positive. Positive. Positive, right. When you are efficient, you do everything according with the time that you have. What about forgetful? Yeah, I think this this is for for me in my case. Sometimes I forget uh, everything at work. <laughs> Forgetful. Uh, which one might think? Uh, positive adjective or negative adjective? Negative. Negative. <laughs> negative. Negative. Yeah. And what about generous? Positive. 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 We might call positive. What about hard working? Positive. Positive, right. Because nobody likes lazy people. Do you know what it means, lazy people? Or in another <laughs> word in Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> that the that the famous in Spanish, the famous uh, the famous how do we call it the famous huevo? <laughs> no. 
the one who doesn't like to do anything or nothing, even at home or in their work, whatever where he is, he never likes to do anything. <laughs> That's why <laughs> in this case, like a, like a being lazy. Okay, what about impatient? It's negative. Negative, yeah. You must be patient because not all the people have the same patient like the one that you have. I don't consider in my in myself like a being like a, a very patient person. No, I think it is according how the other person reacts in some cases, but I have learned through the years that try to avoid the problems the more that you can. That is going to be the best. Avoid problems. Because being impatient doesn't bring anything good. Okay, what about level head? What is level head? Level head. What do you think might be in this case, the level head? We might consider like a... Nivelado? Para sensato? Yeah, sensato. Oh, this, oh, this famous word in Spanish, centrado. Centrado. Yeah, that was, this might be like another option, centrado. Which one mm -hmm. do you con do you consider level head might be negative or positive? Positive. Positive. Yeah. Level level head. It, it literally means uh, cabeza. <laughs> but translate it literally. Okay. But no, we are not going to translate it literally. Okay. What about moody? Negative. 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 It is an alien, okay? It okay. is an alien. It is an alien. What about Poncho? Positive. 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 Okay. What about reliable? Reliable. It has relaxed. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Negative. Uh, being reliable. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, it's positive. positive. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, reliable. Confiable. Uh -huh, reliable. In this case, it's positive. Man. Okay. What about a strict? Negative. Mm, no, if you if we see um, if we see estricto. like estricto, yeah, estricto translating into Spanish. I don't consider that that being a strict. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. I don't consider that being a strict might 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 be a, a, a an negative adjective, because if you are not a strict uh, in everything that you do at home at work or even in your community or where you live, nothing is going to be well for you. You must be strict with what you want or with what you want to do or the or what you want to do with your classmate, with your coworkers. And that's why you must be strict because if you don't put order wherever you were, nobody's going to be paying attention to you. It is the same like in Spanish. The teacher is talking and nobody pays attention. That is my that is that might be like a little example. Uh, because in the classroom, if the teacher is uh, he doesn't make the effort to be in a strict, the student won't respect him. That's why it's, uh, and the, the first according with teacher with managers 
with community managers and so all of them must be like a strict with what they want from their employees. Okay, in this case might be positive. We said right, positive. It is for a strict. It is a positive adjective. Okay, who wants to help me with this column and who wants to help me with this second column? Mm -hmm. To tell me the names in, in, that we have here. Or the adjectives, sorry. <laughs> Our adjectives. Who wants to help me? Rina Margarita, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Rina. How are you? Fine, teacher. It's okay, good. Rina. Rina. You can help me with this column that we have here. I started with bad temper and ending here with generous. Mm -hmm. You're going to start here, you're going to finish here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. How it's negative tem bad temper? No, 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 no. You're going no. to you're going to tell me how this one it is pronounced. Bad temper, creative, and you're going to finish right here. Oh, mm -hmm. um, generous? Uh, no, Margarita, you're going to <laughs> you're, you're going to tell me in this way, but temper, creative, critical, disorganized, until you are right here to generous. Okay, you start oh. telling me the first but, one, the second one. Okay, but. Bad temper, uh -huh. uh, creative, uh -huh. Cri critical, critical, okay, critical, disorganized, 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 efficient, 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 forgetful, forgetful, uh -huh. forgetful, generous. Generous. Okay. Generous. Thank you. Let's see who hadn't okay. participated right over here. Oh, uh, Catherine Marielos, where are you, Catherine? Catherine Marielos. Hi. Okay, Catherine, do you want to help me with this second column of, of positive and negative adjectives? Uh, positive creativity. Uh, generous. No. In... No, 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 Catherine, you're going to repeat, you're going to start right here, hard working, you're going to continue with this one, with this one, with this one, and you finally, you're going to end with this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, home working and mm -hmm. positive, or no? No, 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 just you're here? going, just you're going to tell me the... How how it is written here? You're going to tell me hard working, then you move to the second one, impatient. Oh, repeat. Repeat. You're going to repeat. Yeah. Okay. Hard working, impatient, mm -hmm. living in, Heidi. In, impatient. Impatient. Mm -hmm. Impatient, living Heidi. Level head. Level head. Level head. Punctual. Punctual. Con. No. Ah, no, modo. Muri. 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 Punto. Poncho. Poncho. Uh -huh. Re Reliable. 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 Strict. 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 If you see. It is not it is not difficult. No. Okay. Who else wants to help me? Marga, Maria Magdalena, how are you, Maria? Good teacher. Okay, Maria, help me with this column right here. You're going to start here, you're going to finish here. Okay. Bad temper, creative, uh -huh. critical, disorganized, efficient. Forgetful, generous. Uh -huh. Okay, you did good. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see who else. Let's see who else we have right here. Well, the... Oh, Crisia. How are you, Crisia? 
Bye. Hola. Okay. <laughs> Hello. You were falling asleep, Crisia. No. <laughs> no. No. No, you know. Okay, Crisia, help me with this color. You're going to start here. You're going to finish here. Okay. Uh, hard work here. Mm -hmm. level, level here. Impatient, in this case, impatient. Impatient. Level head. Level, what? Level head. Level head. Level head. Like a, level. like a, like a G song, level head. Level head. Uh huh, level head. Okay. Level head. Mm -hmm. Moody. Moody. Uh, punctual. Poncho. Mm -hmm. Um, that is difficult. Relay. <laughs> Re reliable. Re reliable. Reliable. Mm -hmm. Reliable. Strict. Strict. Okay. That is how how I know that you really were paying attention. But I know that some words are very hard to pronounce. Don't worry about that, guy. The practice makes everything better. Practice and practice and practice. Don't worry about that, Christian. Just try to remember, yeah, some of, some of the work, some of the positive and negative adjectives. <laughs> the one that we have for today. Okay. I think we have, we still have some time. Okay. What are we going to talk about in this section? Best description. Okay, we have a bad description for a boss, for a coworker, for a teacher, and for a relative. What is what is the boss, guys? A boss. What is the who is the boss? Translate into Spanish, how we can call it? Serious? Okay, what about what about the coworker? Compañero de trabajo. Uh -huh. What about the teacher? This is the the. You you are the teacher. <laughs> oh yeah yeah the teacher the teacher. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Let's see what about the the another one. A relative. Parientes. Uh, you won't tell me parentation because parentation doesn't exist. It is a relative. <laughs> try, try to keep in in my dad, guys. A relative. Mm -hmm. no, won't 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 say uh, parentation. No, <laughs> it is relative. In this case, it is relative. Don't get don't get confused. Okay. What what might be the best description for the teacher? Imagine that I'm not here. Imagine that I'm not here. I'm going to okay. Imagine that I'm not here. <laughs> what might be the best description for the teacher? Moody, patient, or hardworking? I think that patient. 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 What else? Just that. <laughs> Just patient. Okay. Yeah, a teacher must be patient because. The, the learning process is not the same for every student. Maybe there are some students that uh, they handle the language quickly than other ones. Maybe they can get uh, like a new vocabulary at once. And maybe another one, it is getting more difficult or stressful trying to learn some vocabulary or trying to make a short conversation. And that's why we as a teacher must be more patient than than the useful uh, because in those cases, uh, the patient is the key. If you don't have patient teaching to your student, you are going to fail. If you fail, that's mean that you are not doing the thing well. That's why we must be patient. <laughs> okay, well, guys, in this case, what do you think might be the best description for a boss? Serious? Serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In this case, serious might be like a best description for, for the boss. But it doesn't mean that the boss it is serious because he... He doesn't likes uh, like uh, deal with people, no, because a boss must be a serious and like a very strict person, because he's uh, 
in charge of a, of a company or maybe one small section of the company. That's why it must be serious. What about a coworker? What might be the best description for a coworker? Mm -hmm. Generous. Great. Generous. This one might. Yeah, this might be the best description for a for a coworker. But there are some coworkers that they are not generous. They are the opposite of generous. Instead of giving, they are taking uh, something for from you. Yeah. The, but this is might be the, the best description for a coworker, but unluckily here in our country, we, it is like a kind of weird to find a very generous coworker here in, in our country. What about a relative? What might be the best description for a relative? Hmm? We have bad temper, we have disorganized, we, we have reliable. The best description. Reliable. 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 Bad temper. Reliable. Bad temper. I I have heard bad temper over 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 there. Yeah. Bad... Uh, for example, the two brothers. Se pelean. ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say they, se pelean? They, they fight each other. Ah, uh, okay. Eso. Como me... How do you say this? Como dijo? They fight. They fight. Each. Each. Other. Other. They fight mm. each other. In this case, I think, yeah, not all the relatives are the same. Because in my case, I have a lot of bad tempers relatives, especially if... Uh, from the side of my father, but with, uh, but, but coming from the side of my mother, uh, all of my relatives, they are reliable, they are easygoing, they are well behaved, they are educated, they are generous, they are friendly. Uh, it, just, just I have a few of them, they, they, they are serious, but, but in, in the majority of the cases, no, are the other description or the other adjective that I already mentioned to you. Uh, we have everything in different areas. We have like uh, how we can use the adjective, the positive adjective and edit adjective according with whatever thing that we want to talk about. In this case, we have four different things. In this four different things, we have three, different adjectives. And these adjectives are going to be used for describe. Describe each of one that we have right here, starting from the boss, or a coworker, a teacher, and a relative. And in this case, um, for you guys, for all of you, the best description from me to you might be that you are Creative, that you are friendly, that you are, that you are also hardworking. You are also hardworking, guys, that, because you do you do your best during the classes. You always do your best, even being on time and trying to be during the whole class. Well, uh, eighteen. Well, this was everything for today, guys. And uh, thank you. I really appreciate the effort that you put to the class. I know that it's, it is not easy for you to be in one whole hour, being sitting at home, especially in a very hard chair, in my case, because I don't have fluffy chairs, because my puppies, they bite all of them, and they don't have stuff inside. 
uh, I have to use another kind of chair. <laughs> well, uh, I really appreciate your effort and I hope to see you tomorrow. And also, thank you for waiting for me like uh, two or three minutes <laughs> because I have to make the change from the first class to the second one. Well, guys, um, I hope to see you tomorrow again. Uh, take care, have a good night and recover all the energy that you need for tomorrow. So, was a pleasure, guys. Right. I hope to see you Thank tomorrow. You. Have a good you. night. Thank night. you, teacher. Okay, Bye. have a good night. Bye, guys. Take care.